Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Thank you for watching this clip on integration by parts. Integration by parts is a powerful, powerful tool. I always think the gambling part of using integration by parts is kind of like investing in stocks. You got to know which one to pick and when and where to sell, to sell it. So in our case, we needed to figure out which one you're going to as have at a U, as U, variable U, and which one you're going to have at DV. So which one you're going to take the derivative and which one you want to integrate. Here's the general rule. Whenever you have a radical sign, do not try to take derivative. It just gets messier and messier. It's kind of like an infected weeds in the yard. You know, uh, it's a springtime, and in our front yard, there's a lot of weeds. So do not, integ uh, do not differentiate when you have a radical root. Okay, so let's, having that in mind, let's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have u is equal to x. Then du, it's a very nice calming dx, right? And then we're going to have the dv is equal to dx radical root of x plus 3. Actually, I'm going to rewrite this into the exponential form so it's easier to integrate, all right? And then my v is equal to the integrate on both sides. So I have x plus 3 to the plus 1 power, which is 3 over 2, and divided by 3 over 2. Now, one thing I tell my students is when you're doing this integration by parts itself, it's already complicated. So don't bother to simplify this. Just leave it be, copy it. It's more tedious, I understand. But in the end, you'll end up reducing the error rate in which you turn on the test, hopefully get your better score. All right, integration by parts says, all right, once you get that, we're going to have uv, which is x times x plus 3 to the 3 third power. Like I said, keep those luggages around. uv minus v du, so I'm going to have v and du, so x plus 3, 3 over 2. 3 over 2, du, which dx. All right. And here we can integrate this one. So our critical intensive care unit, uh, we pretty much passed to the critical stage because we see this part, it's not too hard to integrate. All right, 3 over 2. And over here, I'm going to have this thing added to 1, which is x plus 3 to the 5 over 2 power. Divided by, I'm not going to clean it up, I'm just going to lugging it around. Okay. Another reason is this, I'll tell you a trait secret. When a teacher correcting or grading your paper, as messy as it looks like, there's nothing wrong. You wrote is wrong, so we can't take any points off. All right. Now, the next step, I'm going to simplify it. On the test, if you run out of time, leave it here. Okay, so at this point, it's not complete, but the teacher can't take more than a point away. All right, so let's simplify over here. What we're going to do is going to pull the x plus 3. I have a 3 over 2. That's in common. I'm going to leave my 3 over 2 over here. Okay, first term I left is x minus I have x plus 3 left over here divided by 5 over 2. Okay, once again, I'm not simplifying more than I can handle, one, time, one term at a time. Over here, I can flip it over on top. That, I know, I can do without much problem. And now over here, I have x minus uh, 2 goes on top, x plus 3, and then 5 goes on the bottom. Now, on this side, I think I'm going to just write on the side. So I have a 5x minus 2x minus 6. That's the top divided by 5. And then I have 3x minus 6 divided by 5. Okay, look, I have a common factor of 2. So I have an x, that's a 3. So I have x minus 2 over 5. All right, that looks pretty good. So I have 2, 3 times, let's put this factor over here, which we simplified over there. I have a 3, x minus 2 over 5. And then don't forget that little cumbersome exponents term, okay? And what do you know? This part disappears, 5 over 2. We like it when it disappears. It makes things 
look so much prettier. And if you have something you can cancel, it kind of give you confidence. Say, all right, I'm on the right track. Two over five x minus two times x plus three to the ugly hat. And that's our answer. Hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube for this video and let me know how you liked it or if it helped you at all. It does feel like sometimes I'm talking to an empty ear. Anyway, have a confident day. Until next time.